Hi, Luke from Korg here. Today we're looking at the Mini Korg 700FS. It's our amazing recreation of the classic synth from the 70s. One of the first synthesizers actually to come out of Japan, but we've added a few extras with this version as well. So we've got spring reverb, a joystick for pitch bend and modulation, aftertouch on the keyboard, patch memories, an expanded arpeggiator, and a whole host of new connections to bring it into line with modern production techniques. Now the Mini Korg 700S was originally designed to sit on top of an organ or maybe an electric piano and that's why the panel is designed the way it is. All the controls, or most of them, are underneath the keys here for easy access when it's that little bit higher up and it was great for playing lead lines and bass lines as well. So let's have a, have a look at what we've got. So um, we've got it initialized here, so we've got our triangle wave, and that's uh, pointed out here, so we can listen to the different waveforms. Square wave. Saw wave. And then we've got two chorus sounds as well. So this um, gives you a saw wave and a, the illusion of kind of pulse width modulation. And then a more drastic version of that as well. And of course, we can change the octave. with those different footages there. So that's your basic oscillator one controls, if you like. But when the Mini Korg 700S was released, they added a second oscillator, and that was on the top here. So if you want to stack up two sounds together, it makes it very easy. You can turn on that sound with this effect switch. So as soon as I switch that down, it'll turn it on, and then we can bring up the balance. So that's a mix of the two oscillators. That's oscillator two, that's oscillator one. So we'll put it in the middle so we can hear both. You have a two octave sweep there, and of course, you can detune it as well using the fine tune. So if we want to have a quick listen to what's just available on oscillator two, we can just put the balance up there. So we've got a saw wave there. But then we have these great ring modulation effects as well in oscillator two. So we can flick it there to modulator one. Get these kind of sounds. Modulator two. It's a greater range, as you can hear. So you can get some great effects with those um, ring modulators. But also, you've got noise built in. So white noise. So that's great for making drum sounds and maybe sound effects as well. And also, you've got noise one, which sounds like this which is still noise, but it's more melodic, so you can actually play melodies with it. And of course we can bring in oscillator one underneath. So the filter section in the Mini Korg 700S is actually called Traveller, and I like to think it's called that because you're travelling through different frequencies. You've actually got a low pass and a high pass filter, and you can use those together uh, like a band pass filter as well if you want to. So let's have a listen to that. So I've got this really nice synth sound here. So on the top here, you've got your low pass filter, and on the bottom, you've got your high pass. Now if you bring them together, and they've got these nice little notches on, so they can fix together, it becomes a bandpass filter. Or you can just separate them again. So it gives you lots of flexibility in terms of sound design. And even more, if you use the two knobs that um, it also ships with to replace these two, and it allows you to go beyond each other because they don't have the notches on. So you can get even more sound variations by doing that. So as you'll probably notice on the panel here, a lot of these sections are colour coded. So you'll see that the, the, high, the low pass and the high pass filter here are red. But you've also got two red switches here, one called bright and one called expand. So let's see what they do. So what bright does is it gives you a fixed amount of resonance. You can hear that coming in there. And expand will put an envelope on your filter for you.
You'll also notice that I've been using this joystick here, so it, we can use it for pitch bend. Up and down. But on the Y axis, you can actually do modulation as well. And this is completely assignable. At the moment, it's assigned to filter, as you can hear, but you can assign it to any of these parameters on the keyboard. So one of the things we've added to the Mini Korg 700 is aftertouch. So that basically means I can play my keyboard here and then dig into the key and manipulate the sound even further. And that aftertouch is completely programmable, just like the joystick here, so I can assign it to any of these parameters. So you can get some really quite contemporary sounding stuff out of this synth as well. <laughs> So on the front panel here, there are further ways to manipulate the sound as well. So if we take this lead sound, we can, um, again, look at the color coding. So we can look at the, the pitch, for example, would be blue. So I can apply a little pitch envelope with a bender switch, or I can start adding some vibrato. So I can turn that on here. And then I can change the speed and the depth. So you can hear the vibrato coming in. That's the depth. That's the speed. And then you can also delay that vibrato so it comes in slightly after I've played the key. And you can turn all of these effects off really easily with the switches here. We've also got Portamento. So we just turn this on with the green switch and adjust the level here. So we've got two oscillators on the go there. So this is the, the depth of the Portamento. And we've also got a fantastic spring reverb effect built in. You can hear it a little bit there, but I've got a, a slider where I can bring it into the max there. I can also change the envelope of my sound as well, so I can change the attack. And also percussion is like decay but then it becomes sustain when I put it to the, the full level and if I want a little bit of release on my sound I can just use the sustain switch there and there's even a switch here called sustain long sustain as well. So another great feature we've added to the Mini Korg 700S are patch memories. So that basically means you can save your favorite sounds and also recall them instantly even though it's an analog synthesizer which is pretty cool. So you get that instant recall of sounds. You've got two banks of seven so this is bank A, this is bank B. And the right button there, of course, is where you save your sounds into. And you can save them into any of those slots. You can also press panel. And what that does is it means what you see is what you get. So it instantly recalls everything as you see it here. So all the controls are in their true state. And what you hear is where they are. So let me see if can change now. He's bang on. You've also got your librarian software as well. So this is a free download and it means that you can manage all of your sounds, give them names, so you can even do things in the software that you can't necessarily do in the unit. So it's well worth checking that out as well. 
So I've got my Volca Sample 2 here, and the reason I've got that there is so I can show you some of the syncing capabilities between an external piece of equipment and the Mini Cool 700, and I also want to show you the arpeggiator, so let's start with that. Um, we've got an arpeggiator built in. Um, originally, it was fairly basic. It was just basically this repeat switch, which allowed you to repeat any given note you play, and then you can adjust the tempo here on this slider. You can also hold. Which allows you to leave the keyboard so you don't have to hold the notes down. What we've also done, we've expanded the arpeggiator section within the Mini Korg 700S reissue. So over here, we can choose different arpeggiator patterns. And we do that just by holding down bank and then flicking the repeat switch. And then we can choose different modes. So that one will just repeat the note we're on, like the original. We can go up. We can go down. And there's various different modes in there, up and down, random, and so on. And when you're happy with what you've got, we're going to go with number three. Press right and then that locks it in. Now, if I want to sync it to an external piece of equipment, it's really easy. Um, I've got sync in and out on the back, so I'm just gonna plug in my cable now. So now, the Volca Sample 2 is sync out into the Mini Korg 700, so the, the tempo is dictated by this unit here. So now, let's start off a drum loop. And as you can hear, they're in sync. Change the tempo here, this follows. Okay, so you've got lots of different connection capabilities with a Mini Korg 700S. You've got your power, of course. You've got two different options for audio. You've got your headphone uh, jack, which has its own volume pot as well, which is really nice. And then a stereo pair of jacks as well. You've also got an audio input, so you can send external sources through the synth and its architecture as well, which is great. You've got sync in and out, which we saw earlier with the Volca, so that's good for getting your timing with other devices. You've also got CV and gate, so you can connect it to modular equipment or any uh, analog synths with CV and gate. You've also got regular MIDI in, so you can connect a, a larger keyboard if you wanted to, to play the Mini Korg 700S, for example. And you've got USB MIDI as well, so that's for connecting to a computer, for doing any recording, um, or using the librarian software that you saw earlier. So there we have it. That is the Mini Korg 700 FS. Go and check it out. <laughs>